Hello there friends and welcome. This is a guide on how to find every single one of the larval tiers in Elden Ring, all 18 of them. And remember, they are unique per run, so to get more you have to start another run through New Game Plus. Alright, so the first larval tier you can get is right here, southeast of the starter grace. From the Ague Lake south grace, you want to head east and defeat the undead enemy up the cliff there, right above me. So just go up here and defeat him, but be careful because he will turn into a huge room bear afterwards. Which can make for a pretty tough enemy if you aren't prepared. Defeat the bear and you'll get your larval tier. Now for the next 4 larval tiers, they are all in the Lyernia of the Lakes region. The first one I like to go for is right here, south of the fallen ruins of the Lake Grace, or northwest of Boilprawn Shack. So by going south from Fallen Ruins, you can already see the lobster enemy we have to defeat right here. Be careful not to mistake it for the three sleeping lobsters around this area here. The one you want to defeat is actually moving around. You have to first defeat the lobster, and after you do it, it will actually turn into another enemy, just like the rune bear from before. In this case, a grafted scion. Careful not to argue the sleeping lobsters. And there we go, our second larval tier. For the second Lyernia larval tier, you must first go to the village of the Albino Rigs, right here. To access it, go to the Folly on the Lake Grace first, then keep going south. You'll see the lake will change into this yellow swamp-like area. So go south and then turn west over here. And right here is the path into the village, which will lead you to the first village, Grace. Alright, so from the village of the Albinorix Grace, you head east, past the well with the ghost, right into the graveyard here, then simply loot the corpse at this coffin for your larval tier. Alright, so before getting our next larval tier, first head to the Artist's Shack Grace, and then interact with the Resurrection Painting. Now you're ready for the next step, which is to go into Caria Manor. An easy way to get here is by being teleported from the Sanding Gate right at this part of the map, which leads you to the northern Lyernia Lakeshore Grace. After that, you just have to go north until you reach the manor. Now progress through the manor, it's pretty straightforward. Keep going and eventually you reach the boss of the area that you have to defeat to proceed for a larval tier. Royal Knight Loretta. Right, so after defeating her, you unlock the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds Grace. Simply head north, past the doorway there. Now at the Three Sisters area, turn right and keep going. You'll want to go all the way up here to the right of the manor. And there will be a grace you can use here, behind the carrier manor. Alright, so from the behind the carrier manor grace, follow the road here, straight ahead. Then turn right at this intersection and keep going. Up the road. Now pass this section here, after this big rock, turn right, and there we are. The skeleton on the chair will disappear when you get nearby, and you'll get your larval tier. For your last Lyernia of the Lakes larval tier, you'll also need to have defeated Royal Knight Loretta, so from the Royal Moon Gazing Grounds Grace, go north to enter the Three Sisters area again. You can already use your horse here. Except instead of going east, which we just went for the painting larval tier, you'll go west now. Keep going west until you reach the part I have marked with the blue icon. So you just follow the road past the dragon, you don't have to defeat it. You'll see a blue scarab next to the place you have to go. And you can see we can drop down here and keep going. So after you drop down into the stone roof, you can already see some wooden planks here, so go down again, down one more time, again, until you reach the bottom opening there. So once you go down here at last, interact with this NPC, Pedia, and you'll get to purchase your larval tier from him. It is one time only, however. For another larval tier, you have to go to the Kaelid region. And from the Kaelid Highway South Grace, well, simply keep on heading south until you reach this area I have marked with the blue icon. It's easy to notice because you'll see a set of coffins, so let us go here. Be sure to take care of the smaller enemies before interacting with the one sitting there in the distance, just so they don't get in your way. Now what you want to do is attack it, 
and it will turn into a troll enemy. So simply defeat the troll and you'll get your larval tier. For our next larval tier, the closest grace is the rampart side path at the Altus Plateau region. You'll want to follow the road up here until you reach these little unnamed ruins. The path is mostly straightforward, after all, you just have to follow the road. Up to the blue marker there. Once you reach the ruins, turn to your left and attack the cowering undead soldier here, who will then turn into a lion enemy. That we have to defeat, of course. And once you do it, you'll get your larval tier. Alright, for our next larval tier, you have to go to the Mount Gilmir region. The closest grace is the Road of Iniquity. You'll then have to go up here, then to the right, until you reach the blue marker I have set. Right over there, next to the banners. Or corpses, I suppose. So attack the burning enemy next to the fire. And it will turn into a worm enemy that you have to defeat, of course. Be careful with its death building attacks. And after defeating it, you'll get your larval tier. Our next larval tier is in the Sea of River Well area. You'll have to buy it from the nomadic merchant. He only sells a single one, just like the carrier manor merchant. Getting to him, however, can be somewhat tricky, because you have to follow a specific path. So first, head to the worshipper's wood grace. From here, you'll want to head straight ahead into the wooden structure there, next to one of the pillars. Then to the side here, up the stairs. Now you have to climb the ladder. Once you reach the top of the structure, you'll want to drop down here. Then keep going, and just straight ahead into the big opening here. Past the waterfall and into this little section. Now we are finally at the merchant, so just drop down. And here he is. Hello again, good customer. Your next four larval tiers are all inside Nokron Eternal City. And to actually get to it, first you have to defeat the General Radan boss at Kaelid. And after that, go down the crater that you appear in the Mistwood. Pretty close to Fort Height or the Mistwood outskirts graces. Right here where I have the blue marker. You can already see the big crater, and you just go down the path. And at the very bottom, you'll find the entrance to Nokrom Eternal City. Alright, so for the first Nokrom tier, from the Eternal City Grace, go straight ahead, then turn to your right, and enter the big building here, the first one, with the open doors. At the end of it, you'll find a corpse with an item which is of course our larval tier. Now when it comes to the second Nokron tier, you can start right where you left from the first tier, so just exit the building you were at, or from the Eternal City Grace, you just want to go ahead into the second building here and down the stairs. Just go all the way down. Now see the gazebo over there? Right at the corpse here, you'll find your larval tier. The third and fourth Nokron larval tiers are also very close, right at the boss ahead of us. The boss is of course the infamous Mimic tier. Defeat it and you'll get two entire larval tiers at once. Talk about great, right? The last of the Nokron tiers is right here, close to the Night Sacred Ground Grace. From this grace just go up the stairs enter the building and defeat the big metal ball there. Now in case you don't know how to reach it, from the Ancestral's Wood Grace, which is the next one past the Mimic tier boss, go down the roof here, then drop down again, you'll have to drop down a lot of times. Now here, drop again, and again, the roof here again, one more time, we are pretty close to it now. Go past the Mimic enemies here, and shoot this little path here. Just one more drop. Pass this little path. Drop again, and there we go. <laughs> the metal ball. The grace is after it. Like I said, after you defeat the giant ball, you'll get your larval tier. For three more larval tiers, you have to go to Noxtella Eternal City an area that can be accessed from the Sanding Gate at the top of Rena's Rise, which does require you to be 
around the middle of Ronnie the Witch's quest, and I do have a complete guide for her quest linked to the side here. Thankfully, the three larval tiers are pretty close to one another. So, from the Noxtella, Eternal City Grace, go up the stairs here, just follow them up all the way. Pass the Mimic tier enemies. Then turn over here, up the other set of stairs, and then pass the bridge. Now you can already see another one of the metal balls there in the distance. And just like the last of the Nocron tiers, we have to defeat it. They stagger very easily. Defeat it and it will drop a larval tier. The second Noxtella larval tier is right here, to the right of the bridge, inside this chapel area. Activate lock on and you can see there's another metal ball at the ceiling. You can attack it with a ranged ability for it to fall or just walk over here and it will automatically fall down to the ground. Simply defeat it for another larval tier. For the last Noxtella larval tier, exit the church, go past the bridge and up the stairs here. At the top of the stairs enter the other building, lock on again and you can see another metal ball at the ceiling there. Once again, simply defeat the metal ball for your larval tier. Alright, so the truly last of the larval tiers, number 18, can be found in the mountain tops of the Giants region, pretty late game after you deal with the royal capital. From the inner consecrated snowfield grace, you'll want to go southeast until you hit the blue marker I have set. It's pretty close. You can already see a pack of undead enemies here. What you want to do is attack the undead enemy stuck in the ground here. Who will then turn into a huge moon bear. Be careful because it can be a pretty tough enemy. And after you defeat it, you'll get the last larval tier of the game. Alright everyone, so this was it for my larval tiers guide. If you found this useful, then please remember to like, subscribe, and even consider becoming a channel member. Thank you for watching, see you next time, friends!